So, fun fact, I forgot I had a flashlight. He was hiding in the corner over here. I mean, you can't tell there's a rat there either. They don't exactly highlight these goddamn things either. So that was like really annoying. And who the hell is going to clean this stuff up? Oh, that's interesting. We have no like no reflection whatsoever. Oh, that's trippy. You can actually see the convenience store basically through the door. See, this would have been a, a really good opportune moment where they should have just like put a ghost or something there, and you could actually just like see it through the reflection. That would have been like a really good opportune moment. They, I think they just completely missed. Oh, polished ass door. But now we got the problem with these scuff marks over here. I'm like, do we have like a mop or a broom? I mean, that's like really gonna irritate me. Oh, you got no cleaner or what's with. No, wait, there has to be something here. There's no way you're letting the floor look this goddamn dirty. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, I apologize, sir. Uh, didn't mean to hold you up there. Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pet? What the shit? Sir, I'm gonna ask you ass to leave. You ain't gonna be rude to me like that. So, uh, go get it yourself. Oh, hell no. It couldn't be me. I would like to tell you. You can get it yourself if you can leave. Could not be me. Call it bad. Call it bad. Call it bad customer service. But you ain't being rude to me. Where the hell is this beer in that? Wait, you said beer. Wait, is that in the back? I think, I think it's in the beer back here. Is this beer? No, that's not beer. What the hell is beer? Beer, 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 beer. Beer. Did I get all five? Can we just chuck it at you? Here's your goddamn beer. You said cigars. Yes. <laughs> hey, I'm in a hurry. Oh. Oh. Well, excuse me, ass. <laughs> mm. Yeah, never be rude to people, especially if you're working at a convenience store. If you're one of those entitled asses that do that shit, um, I really hope you fall to sip your toe. I don't get beer. Beer, beer, beer. What? what? Did I give you all the beer? Oh. Oh, you can only. Oh, you can't drop stuff. You can only just do it one at a time. Well, that's kind of annoying. You can't carry like five beers? Here, here's your stupid beer. I like how it's just like dead silent. There's like no music whatsoever. And then you immediately get over here, there's music. One more. Can the ghost just like take this guy? That'd be really awesome of you. <laughs> Is that being too cruel? <laughs> I don't know. I think rude people should be. There should be like no justice for you whatsoever. You're rude to people like that. You know, you deserve bad karma. Do you? As simple as that. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Rude ass. Uh, of course you'd be driving a sports car, too. Title dickhead. Uh, I saw some resident. Okay, yeah, too. That weird into that. First person to see this one. Yeah, well, I just did that, sir. Okay, well, we've seen our first ghost here. I mean, like, what's the dealer? No? Okay, apparently not. I guess it's just not that time yet. Not that time in the movie to see the first ghost. So, what do we do now? He said kill all the rats, but do we have to pick up the garbage too? I mean, how the hell are we doing that shit? Uh, do we put in the second garbage? No. How do we. the hell do we do? I guess we wander about or go home or I'm not sure. 
Usually there's like some exit point to part of the game. Okay, we got a black man out of here. Quite interesting. I don't know, what would your guys just be thoughts on this? Would you ever work in a convenience store that's like this? Or do you just give the big, like, hell no, it would never happen? Huh. I mean, stuff like this doesn't, doesn't bother me one goddamn bit. I'm assuming this was a bit of an exit thing. Did we just, like, check out? I mean, what's the deal here? I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin open. The first person to see this note has to get rid of the rodents. I so your manager. I already just did that. I want to clear these scuff marks. Like, what the hell do I do? That's the problem with games like these. They don't really exactly have an open injective or marker that basically shows you, okay, you finish this, you know, you get happen to get stuck, we'll throw you a hint over here. Is there more rats? I don't remember. I mean, what the hell do I do? I think this is the problem reason why I don't like these type of games. I don't get it. I killed all the rats. There's no signature thing for me to pick up the bin or clear it out or anything like that. I deal with this crap over here? I mean, what's the deal with this? Can I do that? I don't know. I didn't miss any rats. I don't think. Uh, maybe we just go home? I have no idea. Not a big clue. It could be like an hour long video of me trying to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do because I have zero idea. Oh! Hello. Madam, I didn't realize you were in the bathroom. Oh, you look, um, very happy. A uh, very purple sweater and, um, big old smile on your face. Huh? Huh? Where's Kinku? You know, where's Kinku is? I thought I heard his voice. That was my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you? Huh? Oh, excuse me there, champ. Slow down. I don't want to get ran over. I mean, what is these scuff marks? How in the hell can I clean this shit up? Do you know where you are? Do you know what your phone number is? Because this isn't your uh, daughter's son house thing. Um, okay, have a nice night there, ma'am. Make sure uh, you're safe, I guess. That would be interesting. So, besides the old lady, the hell do I do? I guess we check the cameras again. Come on, let's spot that ghost. Anything? Oh, there's still the a lady still moving about there. And nothing. And there she's walking. Any ghosts? Any ghosts at all? Okay, I'm gonna say no. Oh, oh. Hello? Yeah, that's our fellow ghost again. Okay. <laughs> this will probably be broken down to several parts because I know these type of games tend to be really long. Take a break just yet, but uh, we probably will be. You see this shed like right over there? What the hell do I do? Ah, how many friends did you bring? Because damn, that shit's really annoying. Maybe we get the jump scare and we go around the corner. Boo! Ooh, maybe we get to see the ghost if we use the camera this time. I know there's a goddamn ghost in this game. Come on now. Where's that ghost? Hey, it's the creepy child. 
Yay! We finally got to see a ghost. I see you, buddy. Alright, cool. See ya. Time messing with the goddamn door. Turn. Um, so before we interact with the ghostly child, we're going to end the next recording here. Uh, I'm just going to double check my recordings, make sure the time length we're looking at. And usually with games like these, they tend to be over an hour. So I do apologize if that's the case. Um, but if, you're, if you got the time to spare and you want to watch these type of videos of watching a new player play one of these chiller art games, then I look forward to it. All right. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. So we're at roughly about 27 minutes. Good to see you again. Now, you know the unstoppable trend of like, ordering everything online. Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. Uh, okay. Where the hell does this thing come from? Uh, ghostly child delivered it, I guess. Get package, yes. Uh, but like I said, I have no idea if there's a, a save feature in this game or not, or whether or not I could just exit and then just immediately pick it up where it is. Because um, I might make this into several parts. I really don't want to do that. Um, if that's the case, then I would probably have to replay all this crap all over again, which makes it really annoying. Um, so I don't know. Um... I know most people like like watching children art games will pretty much sit through the whole hour esque type of thing. Like I said, usually these type of games usually be 30, 40 minutes, depending on how fast paced you are, how well good you are with the puzzles and stuff like that. Um, but since this is my very first time ever playing these games, I like so I'm trying not to put it out, out, out within an hour. Oops, second night. Um, I know this is based on a night cycle or day cycle. That's survivability so you die within like five days the game is over type of stuff like that so um i don't know we'll see if we go from there Ooh, what is this get umbrella yes excuse me you're gonna have to wait a goddamn minute can we put the umbrella away no, apparently not mirror car go by so i do apologize uh we getting food this thing it's okay up up. All right, it's very convenient. Yo, hey, 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 this is a personal residence. What the hell are you opening my door for? Okay, yeah, sure, why not? I'm getting this crap off. All right, let's see what the garage has got for us. I'll take that back soon. Not the garage, wrong way. Watch closely. Okay, we get that occasional fuzziness. What are we looking at here? We're looking at the convenience store. It looks like it's upside down. Uh, whoever's holding the camera there, good buddy, you kind of want to turn that around there a bit. Alright, didn't know. So we can't work a video cam. <laughs> it's not really that difficult. God damn it, it's loud. Well, they're not loud, but... There you go. So you guys, do you like the rainy season, or does it kind of make you like anyone else? Makes you just feel completely depressed and just sad and just like that. I personally like the rainy season. I like the rain, but I'm more of a snow guy. You know, love looking at snow and stuff like that. Don't ever ask me to shovel it. Because it is a pain in the ass. I've already sprayed my wrist like twice shoveling snow. But, you know, you do make a lot of good money too. You know? so I think my best was only like $500 shoveling snow. So. It's a lot of work, especially if you're doing just by using a snow shovel and going like to snow for you. But if you live in the snowy area, I highly recommend you do it in the snowy area. It saves you so much money. Alright, we're not sure how many nights are actually in this game. I want to say five. 
I could be completely wrong. I said it is completely based on the pace of the game, how fast you do it, how fast you can solve the puzzles, this that. Um, I do know there's like some form of like puzzle thing that the ghost set up for you. Um, kind of like a Simon Says type of crap. Uh, but we'll see how that. I like it, I kind of like this like eeriness of the way it's hitting for him like that. It's very ominous. Kind of like fog that's formed over the ground, except it's like these little waves of this thing. Which is really neat. Ooh, let me tell you, it was raining out there. Okay, you left the bathroom door open. Uh, scuff marks still on the floor. You left the back door open. Sir, what the hell have you been doing? Where the hell is my goddamn man? Sir, why the hell is your dumbass hiding in the closet? Or locker? I got you good, huh? Okay, okay. Fine, I'll stop. I promise I won't do it again. Yeah, you better not be doing it. I'm going to take this guy named Time Card and slap you at the head with it. Alright, uh, what do we got there? Some products were missing on the shelf. Always keep the shelves full. That's our motto. So please restock them by tomorrow morning. Your manager can kiss my ass. Sir, why don't you do this? I mean, you're the manager. Manage this crap. I mean, these scuff marks on the floor. Like, come on. Crap them up and start popping this shit up. Why isn't it my job? Yeah, you're talking about really selling us some stuff here. Jeez. Uh. Apparently, we're going in the back room. The back door open again. I mean, come on, dude. Let's close the doors. We're not born in a barn here. All right. We got some, um, maybe ramen? I'm not exactly sure. Bright red bag. I'm assuming it's going to belong in this aisle. Apparently not. Oh, I did that bag. Restock. Yes. What do we got here? What is that? Looks like beets, maybe? Uh, maybe it's potatoes. Red potatoes? 80 grams? 80 grams of what? Fat or protein? Blue potatoes, green potatoes, red potatoes, regular potatoes? Heard a car. Oh, is our manager leaving? Alright, see ya, buddy. Ass. <laughs> uh, always love the job you work at. Why is it raining in here? Is that a graphics glitch? That's unusual. I may want to get this roof fixed. I think that's a graphics glitch, so I don't know. Maybe it's a game glitch. What have we got here? What is this? Let me hear from the background, so I do apologize. It's getting around like their time. Who the clo Oh, you gotta be shit me. Who is closing the goddamn door me? Really, this shit? Hello? Uh, I swear, it's goddamn ghost. You can drown my ghost. We have some stuff we do. Yo, very funny, kid. Watch out with the goddamn door. They'll make me come out there. Beard. Mirrors some people on the uh, outside side of your borders. You little shit. Where the hell you at? About to beat your ass, kid. Where's this go? You in here? Restock? Yes. That looks so goddamn good. It's like some sort of like stir fry, maybe? I don't know. That looks so good. That Especially that one. That one looks really good. You got like spaghetti. I'm not a big fan of spaghetti. I'm not a big fan of red sauce in general, really. And I hate fettuccine. Everyone brags about Alfredo, Alfredo fettuccine and stuff like that. It's just like, I just find it disgusting. I can never get past the actual taste of it. I don't know if it's just like the sauce or the cheese they use or whatever the hell it is, but I just can never get past that taste. Uh, I think it's over here we have to restock. Yeah. I mean, it's not for everyone anyways. Whoa, what the hell? Sir? Hello? I'm... Hamadan, so there's something wrong with the air conditioning. Your boss seemed de desperate in keeping the food fresh. Hate to be working this late, but pays me well, you know. Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside units and head right out. And, well, if I don't see you, then um, I know what happened to you. Um, let's check the rest of these stocks. I mean, we need, still need to stock that. We have some other things we need to stock in here. What are we working with here? Any more stock? Any more stock? No, I'm gonna go no. 
Um, unless there's stock in the back room over there, which I don't think there is. We missed it up in here. I'm assuming we have to stock that. Unless we gotta watch this guy get snatched by a ghost. And there's that too. Yo, you did a job out here? What the hell shit is this? I get this key. Yo, there to get your man. What's with the key? Blue glowing key. I apologize for the rain sound out here too. Yeah, I want to hand me get that key, there, buddy. I'm gonna do junk from this shit off, and what's over? I'm gonna be like that. Apologize, occasional neighbors walking by and have my window open, so uh, there's that. So, some blue random ass key apparently we can't pick. I'm assuming he's just gonna disappear or say something about the ghost or something like that, and then we'll get the key. This is a really small path. I mean, do you need a counter this big? Yo, what the hell are you guys screaming for? As Will Smith said, don't start nothing, there won't be nothing. Oh, hello, ma'am. Oops. How was that uh, air conditioner? Oh, okay, apparently we're gonna be talking to the computer store, all right. So does it mean I can get that key? I mean, what's the deal here? Where'd she go? Oh, okay, you're looking very... Gothic, really. And very pale complexion. Up. Uh, Okay. Apparently he just said I fixed your air conditioner and I'm not going to tell you. Good to know. Ma'am, I'm going to go check out what that key is. Pretty sure it's the key to the haunted shack. What's this? So, he bought their new mother coming out here. Open the scene. And left me to fix the dining thing. That's very good. Alright, we have to keep the key. Um, let's go help out the lady real quick. And then, um, we'll go check out the haunted shed. Ooh, it's very blue glowing. I like it. I'm gonna drop that key right there. Ah, right, ma'am, what you got? Oh, you got a whole lot of stuff. Oh, thank you very much. Arigato. Are you the only one working here? I can't believe this. What kind of manager puts that girl on the midnight shift alone? I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Now be careful. Uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Let's go uh, open a creepy shed. Ooh, we're uploading key. Also, if you're not a big fan of horror games, you definitely are not going to like this either. Pretty sure it's like Cajun like jump scares and stuff like that. How do we get this shit open? Hello? Where's the key? Can you never sit down? What's the hell is this key for? How do I use key? Hello? Give me a goddamn key and I can't reach it. Is there a I mean, what's it doing here? What do I use a creepy key for? Excuse me, if you plan to use our bathroom, make sure you clean up afterwards. I turn the flashlight off. Yeah, talking a lot of shit, huh? Oh, that's real funny, yeah. Uh-huh. I see how it is. Oh, is that supposed to be a panda? Smoking? 
What have you seen a panda smoke? Oh, this is interesting. Pa oh, it's like all electronic. Oh, that's awesome. I know Japan is very technologically advanced over here. Oh, what the shit is this? Oh, hell no. Are you kidding me with this crap? Yo! Who's the dickbag that made a mess of my store? No, 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 we can't have this. What the hell is this shit? Hey! That's for employees only. What you clicking on the computer for? What the hell is this shit? What is that little shit doing? Security. UCTV, five times. Oh, he's a big ass mother. Alright, alright. You got the grudge looking mother over here. Alright, well, we're gonna end this part right here and then we'll pick it up fighting Grudge Girl. Be right back.